Okay, so the kids have already uh, dived into the eggnog, and we're going to dive into the questions, because if you've read the title of this video, this is my question and answer 2020 edition. Alright, so what do you think of that eggnog, Johnny? Good. Good. <laughs> do you love it? Yeah. Alright. Can I? I'm going to take a sip, alright? Mm. I kind of love it. <laughs> alright. Alright, question number one. Is there any challenge you would really want to destroy what? sometime? Like, what is your ultimate goal? Mm. I have two, as a matter of fact. You get a little bit, because you're already a mess. I have two challenges that I would like to destroy sometime. One is the Big Texan 72-ounce steak in Amarillo, Texas. And the second one is the Adam M. Necker at Jethro's in Des Moines. Um, those are two... I love uh, it! Okay, Johnny, sit down. I'm answering some questions. Uh, those are two um, challenges that are a lot of food and are well-known challenges, and I would like to uh, take them on sometime and probably miserably fail at them. But you know what? It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, number two, what are your favorite movies? Well... Number two? Number two. My favorite movies, I have a lot of favorite movies. Um, my all-time favorite movie is Dumb and Dumber. Uh, but I like movies like uh, Speed, uh, Under Siege, um, all of the Avengers movies. I love those. Uh, at Christmas time, we like Christmas Vacation, Home Alone, Home Alone 2. Um, I'll be home for Christmas. That's a request for my uh, from my wife. She loves watching that one every year. Do you like that? Number three. Let me. Yeah, can you say three? Three. Let's get another shot of eggnog, huh? This is not alcoholic, so don't get your panties in a wad, people. Mm. I was going to have Jess spike it, but you know what? Probably wouldn't have been a good idea. <laughs> oh, that shot's for you? <laughs> Alright, number three. Question number three. I'll give you more. <laughs> Should have got more Wally World mugs, huh? <laughs> you have them. plenty in there. If you didn't live in America, where else would you live? That's a real tough one. I would probably have to say either Scotland or Ireland. Um, those are two just beautiful pieces of God's land. And um, out of those two, it had to be either Scotland or Ireland. So, yeah. Um, so, I'd love to go. You can you come sit down? Okay. Can you come I'm, sit down? I'm just telling you that. Okay. Yeah. Well, say you come and hear you look at Matthew and Sophie through it. All of that there. <laughs> yes. Hey, we're doing a video for YouTube. Can you sit down? Ah! Okay. <laughs> Question number four. Four? Yes, question number four. <laughs> four. <laughs> How did you meet your wife? What's your love story? Do 10 this time. We're doing 20 actually. I met my wife when uh, I was playing semi professional football. Yeah, and uh, she was a cheerleader and a water girl. Um, there was one, <laughs> this is a story that I tell all the time. The first time I ever laid eyes on this um, dime piece was at a Hardee's before a game, right? She was wearing these perfect booty shorts. And I was standing behind her in line, and I uh, did the butt squeezing motion. Well, uh, come to find out that um, one of my uh, childhood friends was um, trying to hook us up for a while. And, um, and uh, at the time, she thought that I actually looked like her cousin, which, I get the resemblance uh, looking back on what I used to look like and what he looked like. So um, I was, you know, 165 pounds, six foot three, soggy wet, holding a brick. <laughs> and um, uh, we just kind of uh, got hooked up through a mutual friend and the rest is history. We've been together for 11 years, uh, married going on six years, and uh, we have two beautiful babies. So. It all started at a Hardee's by her wearing a pair of tight, nice booty shorts. <laughs> okay, 
Question number five, what is your favorite season? Oh man, that's kind of tough because during the spring and summer, I love baseball. During the fall and winter, I love football. So I'd have to say, I don't know, from April till December. After that, the cold weather can kiss my ass. No doubt about that. Um, and then my actual, like, like most happiest time, I would have to say, is from the beginning of Halloween till Christmas. That, like, gap of holidays right there. I always just love that gap of holidays. Um, my birthday's in the summer, so I gotta throw that in there, too. I'm taking a shot. Babes, we got a whole thing of fireball eggnog. This is not as cinnamony as I thought it was going to be. But it's pretty dang good. This kid's going to town on it. She is going to be up all night long. Yeah, 39 grams of sugar. <laughs> hey. Number six. What are the perks of working at the post office? Well... I'd have to say um, the paycheck is really good. Uh, once you become regular, you get all the benefits. Right now, I'm a non-career employee, but uh, here soon I should be turning into a career, so I'll be getting all those good benefits. And um, another perk is you get calves of a Greek god by work walking. Like I used to have like stick thin legs for calves and uh, thigh muscles, but ever since I started working at the post office, my legs are phenomenal. Uh, have you ever, question number seven, have you considered competitive eating? Um, I have, but most of the time when I do these like competitive eating videos, I just know that I wouldn't be able to do what these professional competitive eaters do because most of them have a stomach that's the size of our houses and I don't know how they eat it. I watched these videos of them eating it. It looks like they just swallow the bites whole. They don't actually chew, which I don't really want to choke on food. <laughs> But there is a competitive eating contest every year in Ottumwa, Iowa at um, this place called the Canteen. They do the Canteen Burger Challenge. It's how many you can eat in, I think, 15 or 10 minutes. Um, they've only done it a couple of years, but I would like to um, uh, throw my hat into that ring. Uh, don't know how far I'd get, but it'd be something to try. But I haven't really considered competitive eating. I just kind of do these timed events smaller scale competitive eating and my kid is acting like a dog right now <laughs> i'm getting eggnog all over me this is this is fine um just wanted to remind you stay tuned to the end of the video because i will be giving off that giveaway the wheel of names is going to pick who wins okay number eight what is a snack or a drink i'd bring back from the past Snack, easy. Butterfinger BBs. Um, drink, it'd probably have to be, well, they already brought back Surge, and I love Surge, so I'd have to probably go, and they brought back Crystal Pepsi, so they've really brought back everything. Uh, but I would have to say, there was this one that was kind of a short-lived drink. It was called RC Edge. Um, I don't remember much about it other than WWE being um, a huge sponsor for it. So, um, I've seen some unopened bottles on eBay, and I have thought about purchasing it, but I don't really want to spend 50 bucks on an old ass bottle of pop. I'd rather just have them bring it back. But yes, 100% bring back Butterfinger, B Butterfinger BBs, and I also have heard that they're bringing back 3D Doritos. Uh, sometime in January, so I'm pumped up for that. Be looking out for a video when that comes out. If it is, if that rumor uh, comes true, this is some good stuff. Mm. Hey! Oh, <laughs> Number nine, best animated show in history oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, Easy. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Johnny. Not done. Ninja Turtles. Hey, can you sit, please? Um, I'm telling the screen, Dad. That's okay. <laughs> Dad, hug me, Dad. I will hug you. Mm, can you have a kiss? Do you want 
going to have my glasses? Sure, I'll wear your glasses. Number 10. Did you watch Biker Mice from Mars? Apparently, I'm the only person on Earth who did. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're the only person on Earth who has watched Biker Mice from Mars because I have never watched it. Uh, it looks cool. I've seen the artwork for it, but um, yeah, I've never watched it. But I'm also on the, uh, I am also on the um, same level as you for another animated show, and it was called The Wild West Cowboys and Moo Mesa. I feel like I'm the only person that ever watched that. I actually have a couple of VHS tapes that were sold for a limited time, and some of those VHS tapes are still sealed, so yeah. What 80s, 90s show should get a remake? You see, that's hard because when they remake stuff, they turn it into some bull crap and it just doesn't work anymore. So, but I would have to say 80s, 90s show get a remake, Chips. Well, it's kind of a 70s, 80s show, but we're going to have to go with Chips on that one. Question number 12. My favorite superhero, Captain America. Um, Captain America? Yeah, I've all... And my favorite is Spider-Man. Really? Your favorite superhero is Spider-Man? Yeah. You know, your mommy loves Spider-Man, too. Yeah. And Bryce loves Spider-Man. Yeah. I love Spider-Man. I do love Spider-Man, too. Um, I like Captain America because he's a... Uh, like he's a Spider solid Man. Avenger. And um, he reminds me a lot of my grandpa because uh, the character was based during World War II. And my grandpa fought in World War II. So uh, that's kind of why I, I will never not like Captain America. He's the best. He's the best Avenger. All right, question number 13. What is a hidden talent that I haven't shown yet? Well, I'm gonna show you a couple videos from the past that I've done. I love drawing. And when Jess was uh, pregnant with Johnny, uh, we did the belly art project. And it was this kit that came with bo uh, body paint and you could draw whatever you wanted on there. So we drew a few things on there, and I just like drawing. And we did one for Brycey too, that I thought turned out really well. Number 14, what's the worst challenge you've done? What were the worst side effects? Easy, the one chip challenge. Um, anything hot, I don't, I, can, I don't do well. Uh, when it's hot, it comes out hot the other end, and I do not like that. <laughs> I don't know why. The worst one that messed me up was the the cheddar jalapeno mac and cheese. The flaming hot didn't do much for me, but for some reason the cheddar jalapeno one just really messed up my stomach. Even the one chip challenge didn't really do that bad, but uh, I didn't really have any side effects that I, other than like just stomach pain afterward and a really hurtful mouth. But other than that, yeah. I'd have to say, out of those two, it was probably the mac and cheese one that really messed me up bad. Number 15. I need more cheese. Okay. <laughs> this one's gonna be, this, this question is gonna be, I waffled on putting this one on here because I know I can't carry a tune in a bucket, but uh, What's your highest and lowest note you can hit? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Are you ready? All right, lowest note. <laughs> I think that was, yeah, see it starts to crack. What's the lowest note you can hit? Old Man River. <laughs> I got an even better one. El Bryce, um, bop, um, bop, um, bop, a Johnny. Let's hear your best impression. All right. I'm not very good at them, so um, be gentle in the comments when I do this. Let's try to do a. Uh, let's try to do a. Um, what's his name? Ah, uh, I'm drawing a blank now. Uh, catch me if you can. Leonardo? No, his dad. 
Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken, that's what it is. Walken. Uh, see if I can even do this. Walken. Yeah. Walken. Johnny, why are you always Walken. drinking all my eggnog? If you if you <laughs> don't stop drinking my eggnog, I'm gonna have to hit you upside the head of your nog. Now this one, this is one of the oh. questions that I've been looking forward to this whole time. Coolest party trick. Okay, so the LA Beast has this video out where he opens a glass beer bottle with a CD. So I went over to uh, Hy-Vee and I picked up this old Dr. Pepper, which actually reminds me of the Dr. Peppers from Forrest Forrest Gump. And today, my name is Super Shonic, and I'm gonna open this Dr. Pepper with this CD. This is the WWF Anthology number three CD. Uh, it's all scratched to heck, so I'm gonna try it out. So let's see if I can even do this. So he, all right, here we go. Tap it twice. I told you I was gonna fail this. Come on. Come on. It's it's coming. I'm getting some stuff out of there. Come on. Come on, you can <laughs> Ah, I'm breaking the CD. <laughs> Thing. This is a twist off. <laughs> mm. I tried. I completely destroyed that old CD. That's good. Question number 17. Does your missus support the channel? Shout out to the missus. And who's a better cook? Yes, my wife does support the channel as long as I support her endeavors. And I do wholeheartedly. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give a shameless plug right now. Uh, she works in direct sales for Pure Romance, so if you and your significant other are looking to spice things up, or even just get yourself some uh, health and beauty supplies, look her up. I'm going to put a link in the description below for her website that you can go and get uh, some awesome products. They have a men's line. I use it. And we also have a podcast called The Infinity and Beyond Podcast. You can get it on all platforms for uh Podcasts. I'm going to put a link in the description below for that. So, yes, she does. 100%. Shout out to my wife, Jessica. She's been uh, with me for 11 years, and I'm really surprised she hasn't really uh, rang my neck yet. But, um, yeah, we're still going strong. So, uh, be sure to check out that stuff. And, um, yeah, shameless plug. Go check it out. And who's the better cook? Man. Definitely her because only because she has a culinary arts diploma, so by default she is the better cook. Oh, excuse me. That's okay, Dad. <laughs> Question number 18. Football or hockey? What teams? For the NFL, I love the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, hockey, growing up I was a Colorado Avalanche guy because at a sports store that we had, uh, I got a toy that was of this goalie who played for the Colorado Avalanche. His name was Patrick Waugh, and his last name was spelled Roy, R-O-Y. And I always thought that was cool because he was Canadian. And that's why I liked uh, that uh, hockey team. All right, last two questions. Are you ready for them, Johnny? Yeah. Yeah, who you got? Marshall. You got Marshall, what does he say? <laughs> Who do you got? Marco. Minnie? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Eat your pez. Mm. Eat your pez. Question 19. Weirdest package you've ever handled at the post office? Easy. A dildo from wish.com. They do not ship that discreetly at all. Which is another reason why you need to buy it from my wife. All of your intimate objects will be shipped discreetly in great packaging. Don't buy it off a of wish anyway, it's gross. I've also handled cremated remains 
And um, I've also handled just a, a random guitar case that had a, a shipping label slapped onto it. So you never know what's gonna come through the post office. But definitely, you know, and when you pick up that Wish package, you know exactly what it is. Because it's almost like they vacuum seal the thing in there. And finally, have you ever thought of doing the gallon of beer or gallon of milk challenge? I have, and that might be a future video. But uh, I'm not sure what the community guidelines are for beer on YouTube, so it'd probably have to be the gallon of milk, and I know that um, I would probably end up barfing that out. But uh, yeah, I've definitely thought about it, and it's definitely an idea that uh, may come to life in the near future, but um, mm. that is that for the gallon, or the, uh, oh my goodness. Why are you slobbering so much? Mm. Oh, the Pez, okay. <laughs> and that does it for the 2020 Q&A. You dropped a Pez? Yeah, that's okay. Oh my goodness, don't mind the slobber. Okay, I'm gonna have to put a slobber warning or something on there. Um, but that does it for the questions and uh, we're gonna get to what you all have been waiting for and that is the giveaway. All right, Johnny, here we go. Okay, so what it is, the giveaway is simply this. A Chick-fil-A $10 gift card. Now, when I did this, one of the people who uh, submitted some questions actually lives in Brazil. <laughs> I didn't realize it at the time, but I don't think there's a Chick-fil-A in Brazil. So if you happen to win, Pedro, um, I will uh, switch out this for a gift card of your choice or a Visa gift card of the same value. So, let's get to it. What we're going to do is we're going to pull up the wheel of names here. And then Johnny, you're going to tap to spin. We got three people, Pedro, Henrique, Matthew C, and the Emerald 97. So, good luck, and we'll see who wins the Chick-fil-A card. Hit it, Johnny. Here it goes. Let's see who the winner is. Pedro Henrique, you win! <laughs> see? Well, sh see if that. Well, that's who won. I'm gonna screen capture this, and I'll put it at the end of the video. There, I screen captured it. That way, you all know the winner. So, Pedro. I don't think you have a Chick-fil-A over there. That might be a uh, uh, United States thing only. So uh, just let me know. Uh, hit me up with a DM on Instagram and I will get your um, shipping address and all that good stuff. But I wanted to thank you guys for um, uh, joining me today and enjoying my uh, kids being crazy and um, getting absolutely filthy. Yeah, we're going to have to get you all cleaned up now. But uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. And we'll see you again real soon in 2021. Got some great stuff coming for you. Have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I hope that you all have a blessed 2021. It's got to be better than 2020, Merry right? Christmas. Let's do this. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Say Happy New Year. Happy New Year! <laughs> Say bless you! Bless you! <laughs>